Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Joel. Today we're going to be having a blast using this artist slop canvas. It's an 18 by 24 inch number two. It's going to be fun. Oops, a daisy. Okay, so I'm going to be using these chameleon powder uh, mica dust, so to speak. It's kind of got a flip flop ability, changes colors at different angles. And this is made for resin, but I'm going to put it in with solid colors into this pour today, and then I'm going to be doing a swipe. So it's going to be really cool. I've never done this before, so we're just going to have to check it out. So I'm using three different colors of mica, and I'm putting that into my solid colors. So this blue, I'm going to put a dash of this in. I'm putting like a thimble, less than a half a thimble full in there. So that mica is super high metallic blue at one angle, purple at another. So this one here is red at one angle, purple at another angle, and I'm putting this into this deep magenta. Okay. So now I have this bright yellow, and I'm putting this mica in here that's gold from one angle and kind of greenish from the other. I'm going to mix that up really, really, really good, and then I'm going to put my Floetrol in there. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of these real quick. So these these are ready to mix, ready to pour paints that I'm using today. So here's the bright blue, deep magenta, cobalt blue, and bright yellow. Now I didn't add any mica to the cobalt blue because it's already metallic. So all these colors, other than any black or white, will be metallic. So my base today, my pillow is going to be Artist Loft Soft Body White there, mixed with American Floetrol. Two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. That's my swipe there that you see the black. That's Artist Loft Soft Body mixed with Australian Floetrol. About one and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint. So it's a little thicker. So we're gonna get this canvas covered up with some white paint here. Gonna put a nice big pillow. Got my colors all mixed up. Stirred the crap out of that to get that mica all mixed up real evenly. Got to really, really, really stir. Otherwise, you can see chunks in it. So, here's my pillow paint. Again, this is the Artist Loft with American Flow Troll. I'm just going to dump a bunch on here. Now normally I go ahead and cover the whole canvas, but I'm trying something different here that I learned from uh, Winterstrom. I watch her a lot. She's awesome. So I'm taking my spreader here, and I'm just smoothing this out just a little bit. Next step, take your spreader, load your spreader up. I'm starting with the bright blue metallic. I'm going to try to put an even coat of these colors on top of the white, which is not that easy to do. So as I go, I'm trying to uh, add a little more paint to it so I don't even have to pick it up. Kind of an experiment, see how it works. It's a little tricky, but it seems to work okay. I'm gonna speed this up. Don't wanna be here all day. 
I'm going to load up the next color. Going with the bright yellow that has the gold metallic mica in it. Next color, cobalt blue. I'm doing some, that's some of my swipe color, which is the uh, Artist Loft Soft Body Black mixed with Australian Float Troll. I'm doing this just to make sure I get some good cells. Now I'm going with the Deep Magenta that has the mica in it. I'm just going to go ahead and put a few bands of the gold across the top. I'm going to take my palette knife. I'm loading that up with the Artist Loft Soft Body Black and Australian Float Troll. I'm back to normal speed here. Get a nice even coat on there. And here we go with the first swipe. Going nice and slow, just barely touching the surface. Spreading that black across, and the color should pop through that. Okay, so I'm loading up my palette knife again for swipe number two. And here we go. So we're done with the swiping. Just wiping my excess paint here on the canvas. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small palette knife and I'm going to do some scoop and dragging. Basically, take your palette knife, stick it up underneath and pull it towards you. Now I don't have a ton of paint on this canvas. I wish I would have put more. It would have made it easier. But you just got to be extra careful when the, the paint is thinner then you can't dig in very deep. So this is going to break up some blocks of color and uh, hopefully add some ornate wisps and such. Then we'll get it stretched out. So I'm adding excess paint that I had. Hopefully make it a little easier to pour off the canvas. Now in my next video, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to use a black pillow paint instead of white. And I'm going to uh, modify, I'm going to use the same colors, the exact same paint mixed up exactly the same, except for I want to integrate uh, a little more of the magenta and get less of the royal blue and the white will not be in there. So we'll see the difference between a white background and a black background using the same materials. It will be drastically different. So make sure you keep your eyes open next week for the next video for that demonstration. Alright, so I'm finishing up here. Pick a couple globs of paint out before it dries. Clean up my edges. I'm back to real speed here. I'm going to be zooming in in a second so you can check out the shimmer of this mica. It really is something else. So here we go in for a close up. Take a look at this. Remember those colors were all just solid colors before I added the mica other than the cobalt blue. I think it's pretty cool. Hope you guys like it. 
If you do like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate that. And also, I gotta thank those Surf Zombies one more time for the badass background music. Appreciate those guys. You can really see that shimmer in the gold. It's actually more shimmery in person than it is on video, I'll be honest with you. So, here's a still shot. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely gonna do some more experimenting. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. And I will see you very soon.